How do you do? Good morning. Miss Wentworth, you don't know me, but I saw you perform in court the other day at the Samelli hearing. I like the way you handle yourself. Well, thank you. Won't you sit down? Yeah. I've got a little business proposition I'd like to talk over with you, alone. Oh, you can speak freely. This is my partner, Miss Davis. Mr. Uh... I'm Frank Gordon. How do you do, Mr. Gordon? Hello. Miss Wentworth, maybe you know I'm mixed up in a lot of enterprises around this town. Yes, I've heard rumors. Good. Then we understand each other. From now on, you're going to be my mouthpiece. And uh, here's $10,000. Uh, just as kind of a retainer. No, thanks, Mr. Gordon. I, I don't believe that we're interested. You see, we have as much business as we can handle without taking on any new clients. Forget the rest of your clients. I want you to... What's the matter? Isn't 10000 enough? The fee's quite satisfactory. It isn't that. Just that, um... Well, we're not in a position to handle your business right now. Say, so who are you trying to fool, Miss Wentworth? Well, you're starving to death around here. That $10,000 is more dough than you'll handle in the next two years with this layout. Maybe you're right. We're still not interested. Is that plain? Okay. Plain enough for me. Goodbye, Miss Wentworth. Goodbye. And, uh, Miss Davis? Bye. You better think it over, Miss Wentworth. I could throw a lot of things your way. After all, I do a big business. And legitimate, too. Mary Wentworth, do you know how much $10,000 is? I know. But do you know who that was? I don't care if it's Jesse James. $10,000 is a lot of money for a couple of girls just starting out to fight life's battles. Boy, oh boy, the battles I could fight for $10,000. But not Frank Gordon's battles. Jesse James was a boy scout compared to him. Why, well, he's the biggest racketeer in town. No. Yes. And we're not interested in that kind of business. Well, goodbye. I can't keep the district attorney's office waiting. $10,000. $10,000.